Tomorrow marks a somber anniversary in the small community of Barron, Wisconsin, as the search for Jamie Kloss hits the one month mark. Tonight, family members who have not spoken publicly about Jamie or her parents' murder are now opening up. They sat down with Lou Goose today to talk about their grief and what they think could have happened to their family. The passage of time has made it a little easier to talk about. Whoever did this cannot get away with it. Right. They can't. Jeff Kloss and Kelly Engelhart lost their oldest brother Jim one month ago when he and his wife Denise Kloss were murdered and their daughter Jamie kidnapped from their home near Barron, Wisconsin. We're trying to grieve our brother and sister-in-law, but when you grieve, then you feel guilty because you, you're grieving right. because you still have a niece that we want to come home. The siblings say Jim was a hardworking, die-hard Packers and Badgers fan who loved recounting his own Lady Smith High School glory days at family gatherings. Denise, a sweetheart, and Jamie, her little follower. So what do you think happened? First, my first instinct was that it has to be somebody that knew him from work because that's where he spent right. 60, 70, 80 hours a week at. At first, Jeff and Kelly thought maybe it was someone at work or perhaps Jim had gotten himself in trouble with money or something like that although he'd never shared anything like that. But that didn't answer. If somebody wanted to kill Jim, why would they also kill Denise and take Jamie? That's why our gut feeling is that they wanted Jamie. But if that was the motive, why murder two people in the middle of the night? It seems to me they, they went to quite the extreme. So the mystery persists. Jeff and Kelly say internet speculation and accusation has been one of the hardest things on the family. Some people have wondered if Jamie had possibly a boyfriend online that would, go, that would go to extremes. Right. You would have to show me proof because I would not believe it. There are 13 year old girls that have personalities that would be out there and, and putting themselves out there. Jamie does not have that right. personality. Plus, I know she had nothing to do with it. She, she, she's, she's a person that was taken. She wasn't, this isn't willing. This isn't something she's a part of. Not that we know this, but right. we know this because we know her. We know her. And they also know dealing with their brother and sister-in-law's murders can only be made easier if Jamie comes home alive. It's shocking. It's devastating. So, but yeah. But we'll have hope and we'll we'll get through it and and hopefully she comes home and we'll be everybody will be good. So, that's all we can do. Lou Raguse, Carol Evan News. We checked in with the Barron County Sheriff today. He says there are no updates on this case. They're still looking for that one tip that could bring Jamie home.